Hey, horse lovers. Today is the first horse show of the year. So I am bringing three horses and five students, and I'm so excited to take you with me. It is 530 in the morning, so I got to hurry up and get everything ready, and I'll see you at the show. All right, so we just got to the horse show. We're getting the horses ready. We're going to walk them around in the arena a little bit and have so much fun. No. <laughs> Come on, Nico. Okay, so I brought a bunch of my students. A lot of them, it is their first show. So we're super excited and it's Bagheera's first show as well. So really hope you enjoy watching everything. Okay, so after we let the horses settle in a little bit at the trailer, eat some hay, groom them up a little bit, we're now gonna take them into the show ring and walk them around. This will be really good to stretch their legs. It was a really short trailer ride, so that's a good aspect of everything. It was literally like 15, 20 minutes from my farm perfect little place to have an open show. So I brought five students and then I'm gonna show a little bit as well. And then one of my friends brought her daughter to show Jiminy and Bagheera and showmanship. Really excited. This is gonna be an amazing day. So again, we brought three oh, horses. So nice. There's different age divisions. So there's gonna be two people per horse. So that's really nice. We can share and then swap and they can do multiple classes. And just to put this in perspective, this is almost everybody's first show student wise or their second, only one student is their second show. The girl, Ella, who's gonna be doing showmanship, she's done a lot of shows, so she's really great. As you can see, she's trotting with Bagheera in hand right now, and I asked her to do showmanship with them since it'll be Bagheera's first time and Jiminy hasn't done a ton of it either, so that'll be great. So we're just here to gain some experience, have fun, improve our horsemanship skills, and enjoy the day. Okay, so this is Bagheera's first show, and this is Ella. She's gonna be showing her in the showmanship and halter classes. So we're super excited, and they're gonna do great. She's being really good. <laughs> okay, so this is Bagheera's first class. This is halter mares. And again, Bagheera has never done anything like this before. We haven't even practiced showmanship because it's just not really something we do, but I figured Ella's really good at it, and this would be a good experience for Bagheera. And then Jiminy is doing it as well. He's done some showmanship, but he hasn't done halter. We have done mainly like endurance, hunter jumpers, a few like open shows, but we're not really huge into pleasure, but I think it's good to practice different things. So Ella was nice enough to come and volunteer and bring them in these classes, which I really appreciate because it gives them and everybody a well-rounded experience. It gets them more exposure in the arena and it's just something fun to do. So I love it. I love watching too. Bagheera is handling everything like a champ. I know that she's older, but she hasn't ever done shows or anything. She was just a driving horse. So the fact that she's just willingly doing this and being really good is what's important to me. Bagheera is truly beautiful inside and out. She has an amazing spirit and this horse deserved a second chance in life and to be loved and cared for. And her career's not over. She's starting a brand new, beautiful beginning. I mean, look at her. She has never done this before. And she is being so sweet and amazing and willing. And again, it's not about perfection. It's about trying different things and progress. Finding horses that have not been dealt a kind hand or they've just kind of been thrown away or in someone's backyard or they've never been started or trained is my life purpose to find them, work with them, give them a second chance, give them an education, give them love, get them healthy, give them care. And then I either keep them forever like I am with Bagheera or I find them a new home. So just so you guys know, if you're new to the channel, I do sell my horses most of the time. Again, I'm keeping Bagheera and Jiminy forever, but I just want you to know that that is part of my program. That way I can have enough funds to help the next horse and it makes room for the next horse as well. So it's a self-funding process because I don't take donations or get grants or anything like that. It's all my personal time and money. That's a way to help more horses and to continue the cycle. Was really good though. Okay. Was, Honestly, that was, fine. That was so good. Let her come through because good job. There you go. All right, now we have Mr. Jiminy doing showmanship with Ella. So each horse, Jiminy Bagheera, did three classes two sweepstakes classes in showmanship, and then they did halter for mares, halter for gelding. So they're doing really great. Again, Jiminy's done a little bit of showmanship for equestrian team, but he's not like a super pro. So again, this is just a good experience for them. She did great too. 
Now we're gonna give the horses a little break here, let them relax. We're gonna take some pictures. This is me and my crew for today. And look at all the ribbons that Miss Bagheera won in her halter and showmanship classes. She's amazing. Okay, we are done with the in-hand classes. Now we're gonna warm up the horses in the warm-up ring. As you can see here, the footing is not wonderful. So we are just gonna do a little bit of walk trot, maybe a tiny bit of canter. I am on Bagheera right now. I'm gonna warm her up first. For Bagheera, it'll just be me riding her and then my 11-year-old student who's been doing really well with her in lessons at the barn. And I'm really excited for her to have this opportunity. Bagheera is being an absolute pro. She really isn't anxious at all. She's just kind of looking at things. But other than that, she's being absolutely fantastic. There's a huge train, which you'll hear a little bit in some of the other clips that keeps going by. Like it's literally super close to this arena, like behind those trees. And all the horses are being really good. When she first heard it, she like had really big eyes and was looking, but then she was really cool. This is my student, Alicia on Nico. She's doing a fantastic job. All the students are great. This is Piper on Jiminy. I'm so glad that they could come and get this opportunity. Again, it's a lot of their first show. And this is a really great low-key place to start your showing experience. There's still a decent amount of people, but the classes are relatively small and there's a lot of diversity, so that's good. He's pulling like that. Just relax your hands. Good. Stay on the rail too. If you're looking up and out, that'll help a lot. Okay. Very quietly talk to her a little bit. There you go. And switch your diagonal. You need to pay attention to that. Good. That's better. They're so cute. That's good. She's going, huh? First offer class number 20, walk only, English equitation. You really pay attention to those diagonals. You sit up, you smile, you look tall, you relax your hands. I'm gonna short your stirrups when you come out too. Good job, good job. This is my student, Leah. This is her first show. So this is my student, Izzy. She's 11 years old and she loves Bagheera and she's the one who's gonna be riding her in some of the classes. Good job, Izzy. Go into some half seat for just a few seconds and then back to posting. We are all done warming up and we are getting ready to go into our English equitation pattern class. And as you can see here, we have our setup. We have canopies, lawn chairs, food, the trailer and trucks right there. So it's perfect. Izzy is now going into her first under saddle class with Bagheera. This is a little baby. pattern they're doing. So Bagheera is just doing walk trot hat. today because her canter is not show ready. Good. And again, we just want to keep it, you know, light, no pressure. And again, this is Izzy's first show. And I think walk trot's a great way to start. Now we have Leah coming in with Miko. So she's in the same class, 13 and under walk trot, English equitation pattern. She is doing a phenomenal job. Leah has come so far in her under saddle and riding that I am so impressed with her. She is doing amazing with Miko and I'm so proud. Again, my riding program is about trying different things, getting experience, and just becoming an all around good rider. We don't just do one thing, we do multiple different activities and I think it's super fun. This is my student, Alicia, and this is also her first show. Miko is her favorite lesson pony. She loves him so much, and she's doing an awesome job on him today. And then Piper is riding Jiminy. So this is now English Pleasure. This is a rail class. You can see Piper on Jiminy, and Alicia is behind her. So this is a walk trot canter class. They are going to be doing that because they have enough experience to do so. She's doing so good on Mr. Miko. And now they're in their canter. You see Piper was on the wrong lead, but that's okay. And she is on the correct lead with Miko, so that is absolutely fantastic. She's doing an amazing job with him. She rides him all the time at the barn and on trail rides. So absolutely phenomenal. Very good. And now they're going the other direction in this class and Piper got the correct lead this time. Awesome. Good job, good job. One, two, slow. Good, good. So now this is English Pleasure Walk Trot. You just saw Izzy on Bagheera. This is Leah on Miko and Anna's on Jiminy. So this is just, again, a walk trot rail class. And in pleasure, they're looking at the horse. You basically want it to make it look like the horse is a pleasure to ride. So just smooth, consistent, even gates, lots of rhythm, sitting up tall, heels down, you know, just like a nice, easy ride. 
Bagheera and Izzy are doing fantastic. Bagheera is a little head high today, but that's normal. It's her first show, but overall, she is so relaxed and composed, and the fact that an 11-year-old can ride her at her first show, both of their first show, is amazing. Leah looks fantastic on Miko, and Anna is doing great on Jiminy as well. I'm so proud of these girls. They are fantastic. Look at them. Now we're in the next English pleasure class. And something that happens when you ride horses and you go to shows and do different things, this is the type of stuff that can happen. She's okay. But as you can see here, this other horse kind of got spooked. Miko just moved and then Alicia lost her balance and fell. She's okay and she got right back on and I'm so proud of her. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows, everybody. The truth is, if you ride horses, you're going to eat dirt and probably often. It's just the way it is. Okay, so on to a lighter subject. I'm getting ready to do my first class ever on Miss Bagheera. I'm so excited. We're doing English pleasure and I cannot wait to see how she does. I'm so excited. She is such a doll and is so sweet. And I just can't believe that like four and a half months ago, this mare was in an auction ring. It's just unbelievable. Okay, we're getting ready to enter now. Look at her, she's so cute. So you can choose to do English or Western pleasure in this class because it's for adults and she is just rocking it. I just think she's absolutely beautiful and I'm obsessed with her tail. It just flows in the wind. She is phenomenal and again, I am just over the moon with her. And for those of you who don't know, Bagheera was just a driving horse. So she's 25 going on 26 years old, we think. And she didn't really have any under saddle experience. So it's great that the driving does kind of help a lot when transitioning to under saddle work. So that's amazing. But she's never done any of this. And the fact that it's like she's so well behaved and trying so hard just absolutely blows my mind. It just goes to show that if you put time, love, care, and energy into these amazing creatures, they will give you everything. I do not care about winning or being perfect. I just care about bringing horses along and giving them experience and loving them every single step of the way. Now we are moving on to the trail classes. So Izzy is on Bagheera right now, and basically trail is like a little obstacle course, and it's really hard actually. There's a lot of precision that's involved. There's a lot of different things that the horses may not be used to. And again, this is just a really good experience, and we're just doing it for fun. So right here, she's gonna pick up the bucket and then set it down on this other barrel. You get the mail out of the mailbox, and everybody's gonna be participating in this class. We have Anna on Jiminy doing the gate right now. This is so good and such good practice for them. And now she's grabbing the bucket and then she's gonna go set it on the other barrel again. Very, very good. And now we have Leah on Nico. She's doing excellent with the cones. Again, lots of precision, very good. And now she's gonna bring him over this tarp bridge. Amazing job. She's very focused and determined in this class, which is really wonderful to see. Everyone is doing really good with the bucket challenge here. So cute. My favorite is the little mailbox. I think that's absolutely adorable. And she did it. Woohoo! Very good. Lovely. Now I'm just going to do this in hand with Bagheera because I can't cross into different divisions. So I'm just going to lead her through this, which will be a really fun little exercise. She's like, okay, cool. She's doing good with everything. Backing her through the barrels now. Going up to the mailbox, showing the judge, and putting it back. She did great. I love her. Now Piper's on Jiminy trotting through the cones. And then we have Alicia. As you can see, she's doing well, got back on and doing fantastic. So proud of her. Excellent job going over the tarp bridge. And of course, the buckets. I love the buckets. It's so fun. Okay, so that was trail. So the horses are doing really well. And we did our English classes, trail, and now we're going to be doing Western. I really hope you're enjoying, horse lovers. And now it is lunchtime. We are all super hungry. So we have all kinds of snacks, pizza. The horses are having their lunch, all the hay they can munch on, taking a little break. And then we're going to be getting ready for Western. So we have them tacked up. We have their head stalls on the horns, getting ready to go into our next classes. All ready for we Western. have Miss Piper on Jiminy here. So we're super excited. We're just doing the Western pleasure classes for fun. And I think it'll be really great. I think Piper looks super stunning and her gorgeous satin red with Jiminy, the contrast, just absolutely gorgeous. They're so cute. Also, Bagheera and I got second place in our pleasure class, so I'm so proud. 
Now we're in the Western Pleasure class. So Piper is on Jiminy here. She's doing a good job. Jiminy just wants to go fast, fast, fast. But they look amazing. Good job. Just tell her slow, real chill. Real slow with Miko. Good, Leah, good. This is Izzy on Bagheera and Leah on Miko. They're doing great. They're in the Western Pleasure walk trot class right now. Look at them. And then Miss Anna is on Jiminy with Leah and Izzy in the walk trot pleasure. This is her first show as well and she's doing fantastic. Doing awesome. Nice and slow. Good job staying slow, that's better. Good job, Piper, nice and slow, good, good. Alicia is back on Miko for Walk Trot Canner Western Pleasure. She is a superstar. Okay, we are wrapping up our classes. We had amazing placings. Everyone did such an amazing job. I'm so proud of them. Yay! Go for it. Oh, that was so cute. <laughs> yes, treats, treats, treats. Go pony. Good job. Bye. Well, horse lovers, as you can see, we had an amazing first show of the year. All the horses and my students did such a good job. It was a lot of their first time, and I'm so proud of them. As you know, it was also Bagheera's first show, and I think she killed it. She also won me this first place ribbon in our trail class. I am so proud of her. Really hope you enjoyed, horse lovers, and I'll see you next time. Bye!